why we have to prepare the branch account in order to ascertain profit or loss that is net profit or net loss whatever the expenses which is incurred in the branch so that amount is given by who by the head office in the same way if any discount allowed or if there is any bad debts we have to record that also if you see the question of course there is a discount allowed to customer the items which are recorded in the opening balance so same items has to be there in the closing balance also everyone i am arshita lecturer department of commerce vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore today we are in the sixth session of unit 2 that is branch accounts so my dear students in a previous session we have discussed about the meaning and we have solved various problem relating to branch account that is question paper problem so let us quickly recall what we have discussed in a previous session so in a previous session as i have already told you we had solved a problem on branch account that is a 15 marks important problem on branch account so in today's session also we shall continue with one more problem now we shall go through a problem that is 15 marks problem arun having his head office in mysore goods are invoiced to the hunsur branch at cost plus 25% now the head office is in Mysore. So the head office is Mysore and it is having a branch in Hunsur. So Hunsur is a branch at cost plus 25%. So among or upon the cost they have calculated 25% of profit that is cost plus 25%. Branch remits all cash received to the head office account. Now as I have already told you so whatever the expenses which is incurred in the branch so it is given by whom? By the head office. In the same way whatever the profit which is earned in the branch that has to be given back to the head office. So here also branch remits all cash received to the head office bank account now if the branch earns any income so that has to be immediately remitted to the head office from the following details prepare branch account to ascertain profit or loss of the branch in the books of head office so what we have to prepare what they have asked us to prepare so we have to prepare that is Hunsur branch account in the books of Mysore head office so in the books of head office we have to prepare the branch account so why we have to prepare the branch account in order to ascertain profit or loss that is net profit or net loss in the branch account. Now go through the particulars here they have given certain particulars balance on 1106 it's nothing but what opening balance so they have given stock at invoice price 24,000 debtors 28,000 and goods received from head office. Now these two items what they have given is what that is opening balance so they have given opening balance of stock as well as data and they also given goods received from head office so they have received certain goods so here branch has received certain goods from the head office worth rupees 1 lakh and they have given a remittance to the head office so as i've already told you so whatever the income which is earned in the branch that has to be immediately remitted to the head office or given back to the head office so here cash sales that is 40000 they have given it back next cash from debtors 60000 Next, goods returned to head office at invoice price. So here, the goods which is sent by the branch to the head office, that is 4,000. Goods returned by the customer. So, goods returned by customer. So, where we have to record? In the total debtors account. Next, further consignment from head office at invoice price. So, here in this problem, they also given further consignment. Next, they have given credit sales. So, where we have to record this credit sales? in total data's account. Next, they have given check received from the head office. So I have already told you, so whatever the expenses which is incurred in the branch, so that expenses has to be given by the head office. So here check received from head office. So for salary, they have received 7,200, for rent 3,600, for other expenses, they have received 400 and discount allowed to customer. So this we have to record in total data's account. So discount allowed to customer 3,200 and they are also given bad debts, which has to be recorded in total data's account. Next, they have given closing stock that is 
थर्टी फर्स्ट ट्वेल्व टू थाउजेंड सिक्स इट्स नथिंग बट वॉट इट्स नथिंग बट क्लोजिंग स्टॉक दे हैव गिवन थर्टी टू थाउजेंड बट दे हैव नॉट गिवन क्लोजिंग डेटास सो वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर टोटल डेटास अकाउंट एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड वॉट इज अ क्लोजिंग डेटास now we shall directly go through the solution as i told so my dear students you have to remember the format of branch account so if you know the format a very easy problem which comes for 50 marks now go through the solution here so we have to prepare what branch account in the books of head office now in the books of arun that is head office that is head office is in the mysore we have to prepare hunsur branch account so the branch is in mysore so we have to prepare hunsur branch account so you know the format you will be having debit and credit side under debit side particulars amount and a credit side also particulars and amount now first what you have to record so as i told you if you go step by step you can go on recording the transaction so first you have to record the opening balance so here in the question they have given opening balance of stock as well as debtors now go through the question so here they have given opening balance of stock as well as debtors that is stock 24000 and debtors 28000 so record that amount in the debit side of branch account so how to record two opening balance so they have given stock and debtors so stock 24000 that has 28000 total both and write in the outer column 52000 now we are done with our first step that is recording of opening balance now come to the second step as i told you whatever the income which is earned in the branch that has to be given to the head office so here they have made cash sales as well as they have received certain amount from debtors so that has been written back to the head office so how to record by bank account that is for what amount which is given from the branch to head office so this is your second step now if you see the question they have directly given cash sales as well as cash from debtors which has been remitted to the head office now go through the question remitted to the head office cash sales 40000 cash from debtors 60000 so how to record in the credit side that is by bank account so we shall record cash sales 40000 cash from data 60000 total both and write in the outer column 1 lakh now we are done with our second step that is the amount which has to be written back to the head office now coming to the third step we have to record if any goods which is sent to the branch as well as returned from the branch so if you see the question so we have here that is goods received from head office it's nothing but what goods which is sent by the head office to the branch that is goods sent to the branch how much 1 lakh so where we have to record this that is in the debit side of branch account that is we shall record it two goods sent to the branch 1 lakh in the same way certain goods might have returned back from the branch so if you see the question that is goods returned to head office at invoice price in the sense goods returned back by the branch is nothing but what goods which is returned by the branch to the head office so how much that is 4000 so we shall record in the credit side by goods returned from branch it is 4000 now we are done with the third step that is for good sent to branch as well as good return from the branch so we have recorded both the items that is good sent to branch as well as goods return from the branch now coming to the next one so we have to record all the expenses which is incurred by the branch and the amount which is given by the head office so here i have already told you so whatever the expenses which is incurred in the branch so that amount is given by whom by the head office so if you see the question here checks received from head office so these are the expenses salary rent as well as other expenses so these are the expenses where it is incurred by the branch but it is that amount is given by head office so we have to record that so how to record two bank account two bank account expenses met by the branch so what are the expenses salary 7200 rent 3600 and other expenses 400 so when you total you'll get 11200 so this is your what fourth step next if there is any further consignment 
So we have to record in the debit side of branch account. So if you see the question here, they have given further consignment from head office at invoice price 36,000. So where do we record this further consignment? In the debit side of branch account. So we shall record that to further consignment. So this would be your fifth step to further consignment 36,000. It's not that you have to go on order. So I'm just telling the order because you will remember each and everything and no entries are left out to record. So make sure that you will go in this order. So to further consignment how much? 36,000. Next come to the credit side. So we have to record whatever the items which are recorded in the opening balance. So same items has to be there in the closing balance also. But the amount might differ. Now if you see the credit side here. So what they have given. So we have to record the closing balance. So how to record by closing balance. So as I told you whatever which is there in the opening balance same amount should be there in the closing balance also. Not same amount same item has to be there in the closing balance also. Now stock and data. So in the opening they have given stock and data. So write this stock as well as data. Now if you see the question they have given closing stock that is 32,000 but there is no closing data. So during that situation what we used to do. So we are going to prepare total data account and after recording all the entry the balancing figure will be closing data. Now we shall record the closing stock. So what is the closing stock? Stock is 32,000. Now we have to prepare total data account. So prepare total data account. So why we are preparing total data account? As I told you, always remember the format. So any of the figures will be missing here. So in the question, they will give all the items and any one of the item will be missing here. So that balancing figure will be that particular item. So in this question, here the missing item is closing data. So the balancing figure will be closing data. Now how to prepare total data account? So as I told you, you just remember the debit side of total data account. So what you are going to record under debit side? Opening balance of data as well as credit sales. Other than that, all the items comes in your credit side. Now we shall begin the total data account. Your format remains same. You will be having debit and credit side. Under debit side, particulars amount. Under credit side also, particulars and amount. Now first what you have to record? Opening balance of data. Now go through the question here. So what is the opening balance of data? That is 28,000. So how to record in your total data account? Two balance brought down. So two balance brought down 28,000. Next in the debit side we have to record credit sales. Now if you see the question they have given here. That is credit sales 60,000. So record that amount. Credit sales 60,000. Now come to the credit side. So whatever the amount which is received from debtors, so that we have to record. So how to record? By cash account that is cash received from debtors. Now if you see the question, they have directly given what is the amount which is received from debtors. Now go through the question here. That is cash from debtors, how much they have given? That is 60,000. So record that amount. So by cash account, that is cash received from debtors, 60,000. In the same way, if any goods is returned by the customers. Now if you see the question, so they have directly given goods returned by customers, how much that is? That is 2,000. So record that amount. So by goods returned by customers, 2,000. In the same way, if any discount allowed or if there is any bad debts, we have to record that also. If you see the question, of course, there is a discount allowed to customer 3200 and bad debts 800. Record these two items. So by discount allowed to customer 3200 by bad debts 800. Next, we are done with recording all the items in total data account and your balancing figure is what? That is closing data because they have not given in the question closing data. So the balancing figure will be closing data. Now how to balance? Add all the items in the debit side. When you add it, you will get 88,000. Whereas in credit side, you will get a balancing figure of 22,000. So what is this 22,000? How to record? By balance carried down. It's nothing but what? Closing Debtors. Closing debtors. 
how much 22000 now for our branch account we got the closing debtors so record that closing debtors that is debtors is how much 22000 add these two items and write in the outer column that is 54000 now we are done with recording all the entries now what you have to do we have to record the reverse entries here now if you see goods return from debtors so for this we have to record a reverse entry so how to record two goods return from branch so that is goods return from branch for that we have to record a reverse entry so how to record two goods return from the branch so what is a goods return it is 4000 here they have given cost plus 25 percent right so cost plus 25 percent let us assume cost is 100 and the profit is 25 percent so total is how much 125 now we have to calculate for that we have to take into consideration this invoice price that is cost plus 25 percent so we have to calculate on goods return from branch as well as goods return to branch at the same time for opening balance and closing balance and for further consignment also now for goods return from branch record a reverse entry to goods return from branch so what is the amount so the amount is 4000 4000 into 25 divided by 125 now what is this 25 that is 25 percentage of profit divided by 125 in the sense it is inclusive of profit so when you calculate you will get 800 in the same way for closing stock so for closing stock how do you record to stock reserve whereas here you have just written stock that is closing stock so upon that amount we have to calculate to stock reserve now what is the closing stock here that is 32,000 so 32,000 into 25 divided by 125 so when you calculate you will get 6,400 now come to the credit side here so first we have to calculate on opening stock so how to record by stock reserve that is on opening stock so what is the opening stock here that is 24,000 so 24,000 into 25 divided by 125 so when you calculate you will get 4,800 in the same way for goods sent to branch so how do you record by goods sent to branch so what is the amount here that is 1 lakh so 1 lakh into 25 divided by 125 you get 20,000 in the same way if there is any further consignment for that also we have I have to record a reverse entry so by further consignment so what is the amount here that is 36,000 36,000 into 25 divided by 125 so you will get 7,200 hope you have understood so in your debit side so you have to calculate for goods returned by branch as well as for closing stock in the same way if you come to the credit side you have to calculate on opening stock goods returned to branch as well as if there is any further consignment we have to calculate this cost plus invoice price that is cost plus profit now you have to add both the side and the balancing figure will be either net profit or net loss so if the debit side is more than credit side it means net loss if the credit side is more than debit side it means net profit now if you add both the side so when you add the debit side you'll get 2 lakh 6400 whereas in credit side you'll get a balancing figure of 16000 400 now what is this 16400 so it is net loss because your debit side is more than credit side it means what net loss so by net loss that is 16400 hope you are clear that how to solve a problem so this is a very easy 15 marks problem which comes in your examination so make sure that you learn this format very easy problem so if you solve two to three problem you will come to know how you have to solve the problem so next we have calculated this total debtors account that is in order to know the closing balance of cash. So this is a simple problem for 15 marks and sometimes if they give this furniture, opening furniture but we don't know what is the closing furniture. So during that situation opening furniture add purchase so if there is any addition is made then add purchase less depreciation will get the closing furniture or closing asset in the same way if we if you want to calculate the petty cash so you will 
take the opening petty cash if there is any additions which is made or if there is any amount which is given by the head office for the petty cash so we have to add that and if there is any expenses met in the petty cash so we have to deduct that so then we will get the closing petty cash so this is a very simple problem hope you have understood the problem. So my dear students, in today's session, we had solved a problem that is a 15 marks problem on branch account. Hope you have understood the problem. See you all in my next session. Till then, take care. Thank you.